Hey everyone, today we are going to go through the geocoding process uh, through the web mapping application. So once the web mapping application opens up, it will bring you to this screen. Uh, this screen is the dashboard. Think of it as the home screen. And if for whatever reason you need to head back to this screen once you have the application open, on the left side here there's a panel and there's an icon uh, of a house and it's labeled dashboards. You can always click that to get back to here. Uh, and again, today the game plan is to go over how to get coordinates for our customers so that we can begin to uh, use the route mapping feature. So on this dashboard, we have a couple things here. Along the top, the dashboards are going to give us some information in regards to uh, missing coordinates for customers. So uh, right here in the top left corner, it says 32 customers without a latitude and longitude. It also says that I have 32 routed customers without a latitude and longitude. And to the right, it says there are zero uh, tasks with customers without a latitude and longitude. So we definitely need to go ahead and uh, get some coordinates for our customers. Before we get into that process, I would just like to point out that right down here on the dashboard, you're going to see an icon of a building, and that is your company's location. So if this is not correct, you can do one of two things. If you know the latitude and longitude uh, of where your company resides, you could type that in right here under where it says company info and then click the update company location button or you could begin to type in an address select the address and then click the update company location that will adjust uh, your company's location on the map so let's get back to geocoding uh, our customers you'll notice there is a view manage button directly below where it tells us that we have 32 customers without a latitude and longitude. I could click that button or I could select the geocoding button from the panel on the left hand side here. Uh, regardless of what I select here, it's going to take us to the same spot, which would be this geocoding manager screen. So once the geocoding manager screen opens up, you're going to notice that there are four tabs across the top. This first tab is labeled needs attention. The customers that are going to appear on this need, needs attention tab are going to be customers that don't, we don't have coordinates for. So as you can see, the latitude and longitude column for all of these customers is blank because we do not have coordinates for them yet. If a customer's address is changed, the system will recognize that. So you're going to notice there's a column labeled geocoded address. So once we go ahead and get coordinates for these customers, the system will tell us the address that is tied to the coordinates that the system provided. If a year from now, Susan Anderson moves from one house to another and you change her address, Susan Anderson will pop back up on this needs attention list and you'll notice that her current address would be different from her geocoded address. And then from there, you can re-geocode her. Uh, and you can do that one of two ways and we're going to get into how to do that a little bit later in this training video. So we have the needs attention tab. The second tab over is the routed customers tab. So these are all of our customers that are on the route schedule that we don't have coordinates for yet. There's also a tab for tasks. At this point, I do not have any tasks created in the system, which is why we're not seeing any customers here. And the last tab is just labeled all customers. So it's a place that you can head to to just take a look at all of your customers and to see the coordinates and addresses for your customer list. So we're going to head back to the needs attention tab and there is a button here labeled geocode all and I can absolutely click that button to begin to get coordinates for my customers. That button exists 
on the routed customers tab as well. Maybe I'm only worried about route mapping at this point, and I only need to get my customers that are on the route schedule geocoded. If I select the geocode customers button right there, it will provide coordinates for the customers that are on my route schedule. Now, one thing to point out, the system may take a minute or two um, to provide coordinates for your customers. It all depends on how many customers it needs to get coordinates for. I had about 32 customers, so as you could see, the system was able to, to uh, provide those coordinates pretty quickly. It only took about a minute or two. After it was finished uh, providing coordinates for our customers, it took us back to this needs attention tab. And you'll notice that this customer does not have a valid address. So it has a city, state, and zip code, but it doesn't have an actual location address. And I did this on purpose because I wanted to show you that the system is able to identify customers that were geocoded improperly. Now, in order to get coordinates for this customer, I can do one of two things. I can fix the address, of course, uh, in the service program. And if you integrate with QuickBooks, you'll want to fix it in QuickBooks as well. And then once that address is correct, I could click the blue geocode button. or within the mapping system itself, I could click this green edit lat long button. When I do that, it's going to put a star on the map of where it's currently locating this customer. And as you can see, it's just putting it in Naples, Florida, because it doesn't have a location address. From there, I could begin to zoom in on the map, and I could select that star and move it to an area on the map, and the system would give me a latitude and longitude. So if I know where this customer should be on the map, it's just as simple as dragging and dropping their location from one area to the next, and the system will adjust the latitude and longitude. So that's one way that you could do it. The second way is you could begin to type in an address. So I could begin to type in an address, and the system will begin to pre-populate uh, addresses based on what you've typed in. I'm going to go ahead and type in 3852 Wax Myrtle Run, Naples, Florida. I'll go ahead and select that. And as you can see, the system put a star where they should be located right off of this country club. And you'll also notice it updated the latitude and longitude. At this point, if I'm happy with where the mapping system has placed my customer, I can go ahead and click the Save button. And as you can see, it says that the location for that customer has been updated. And you'll notice that there is now a latitude and longitude present on this screen. So that's it for uh, going over geocoding through the web mapping application. Uh, stick around for a following video where we get into route mapping.